Forward to that update and backing the boys in blue, two officers injured and a suspect killed when that suspect opened fire on police while they were investigating an attempted carjacking. Now the community is rallying to support the injured officers. CBS 6's Kimberly Howard live on 3rd Street for us right now. Kimberly, how are the folks in that area showing that support? Greg and Liz, if you take a walk through this area, you'll notice that there are some balloons tied with ribbon to the trees here. The folks that are involved in this effort telling me this is just a small way to show that they support and are so grateful for the men and women who help protect and serve this community. 36 hours after two police officers were shot by what investigators call a would be carjacker, crews clear the street. Cleaning off the marking paint so this intersection can return to some sort of normalcy. Police say some of the same businesses that now sport bullet holes were the ones that gave food, water, and coffee to the officers working the scene. A smile and a high. I mean, I've gotten more beeps and waves and, and smiles today than, than in a long time, and, and it feels good. More support coming from O'Brien's public house. The owner spread a bouquet of blue balloons around to several businesses on this strip. Just driving down the street, you can see all the balloons everywhere. It's pretty thing. It's cool. The Collar City Sweet Shop was one of the first businesses to get them. Almost letting people know, you know, we're standing by the police. You know, we're, we're you know, this is where we live. This is where we work. You know, we're not going to, you know, let things like this scare us away. As for officers Joshua Comitel and Chad Klein. Officer Klein is, uh, he's, he's, in, he's in good spirits. He's, he seems to be doing well. Officer Comitel is having a little bit rougher of a time. Uh, his injuries are or seem to be a little bit more severe. Although both are expected to make a full recovery. As the investigation continues, police say based on surveillance cameras, witness accounts, and police radio transmissions, it's clear the officers who ended up killing suspect Thaddeus Faison did nothing wrong. Still, officers are on edge. Captain Dan DeWolf saying several of them have taken the option of patrolling in twos for the time being. Because sometimes, you know, it, it feels good just to have somebody with you to talk to even, you know. Now, an autopsy has been conducted on Thaddeus Faison, but at this point, the results of that autopsy are not being released. Live in Troy, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.